welcome to FTC Recap, where you get the breakdown and discussion of what's going on in the FTC community. For first updates now, I'm Ishan Oberoi. Joining me is Egan. We'd like to welcome our guest, Kyler Smith, who's the founder of Basebot.co. If you've got any questions for him throughout the show, uh, make sure to chat to tag at first updates now in the chat, and we'll be sure to get to them. In the later half of the show, we'll have a discussion about drivetrains and open source designs in FTC. Lots to cover in this show, so let's jump into our headlines. NVIDIA just released a beta version of the game streaming platform GeForce Now for Chromebooks. GeForce Now is a platform that allows games to run on servers and the users to just stream the output of the server so they don't need a powerful computer to run AAA titles. The service is currently free to play for one hour increments. The experience isn't bug free, but to be able to play some modern titles on a Chromebook is pretty cool. I mean, what do you guys think about this? I use Chromebooks for school, so I don't know if it's going to be allowed on that, but it's still kind of cool <laughs> being able to use powerful computing for uh, gaming. Yeah. I... <laughs> Go ahead, Kylie. Uh, I was just, I, it seems like it'll probably require a pretty good wi-fi connection but i mean hey if if it works that 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 could be pretty cool for some people so yeah the wi-fi the wi-fi was a big thing when um when stadia launched uh, not too long ago um if anyone remembers that dumpster fire uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it was even with the good wi-fi connection stadia was struggling uh but i know people that have tried uh that tried geforce now before um, they had it like an open beta for uh, Apple computers a little bit ago, and um, it was great for them. They just used up all their, you know, Wi-Fi data for the for the month. So, right. Hopefully, hopefully they can sort of compress that down a little more or something. But um, from what I've seen, it's a very, very usable uh, system. That's cool. I mean, you're not going to get perfect uh, gaming, but like I saw some little bit of lag but it was a lot less than what was reported for stadia and other uh streaming platforms so i'm pretty excited for this yeah, yeah. it's pretty exciting <laughs> so we've already seen a lot of great cad challenges this off season starting with the containment design challenge um and the second valor cad challenge happy to see that continuing on uh, in case you still have that design itch the caravan cad challenge is there for you the game will be released this Friday, August 21st, uh, so be sure to sign up before then. Uh, they've got a Discord that you can visit. Um, I believe Tyler has the link for that. And you go check it out. You've got two days, less than two days, to, to register and get on there. Um, and it's another one of those CAD challenges to, to get you warmed up for the season that is... Uh, sometimes scarily close. <laughs> Can I just say this? This CAD challenge has the coolest looking logo with all those gears and everything. Uh, but also, if you haven't done a CAD challenge, I mean, it's great practice, especially for this season in working with collaborating with your teams. Since we're all likely going to be working virtually, and the less we can meet up, the safer we may be. So uh, by having those CAD challenges, it's definitely good practice. Yeah, honestly, those CAD challenges are. are... I've seen some really impressive stuff come out of those. Like, uh, also, just if you have no experience at all, just doing a CAD challenge can really like get you started and get you like, that little bit of push that you need to actually uh, start learning CAD. You know, um, I I've found that like when I try to teach people CAD, I've been doing a CAD class this summer uh, weekly. And the hardest part is getting people to actually practice the skills and keep, you know, actually build, design something. And with, you know, a CAD challenge, that really gives you a deadline and a reason to do that. So, yeah, awesome. So, in, in other news, uh, Fortnite was recently banned from both the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store for not following the terms of policy. Uh, they were not following the terms of service by charging people without using the Apple and Google APIs, which give Apple and Google uh, a 30% cut on all in-app transa uh, transactions. They are now suing Apple for antitrust and having a monopoly, and they have released a video mocking the fi famous 1984 commercial from Apple. 
Uh, you can still download the app on Android phones by downloading the APK from online, but there's no way you can do that on an iOS device. Uh, I found this video pretty funny. They were definitely taking shim shots at Apple, and this is all coming in light. Uh, there were recently a bunch of congressional hearings about antitrust, uh, so I thought that this was a pretty cool topic. Yeah, I... um. I don't know if any of you guys watch Linus Tech Tips. There's a pretty good chance that some of you do. Uh, they have, there's a sort of group that they're loosely connected to called Float Plant um, that's kind of like a subscription YouTube alternative for certain creators, including Linus Tech Tips. Um, and they were on a, a live stream a little bit ago talking about how their their app for for iOS was getting like blocked left and right because they couldn't, have any sort of links outside of the app to where you could um, where you could buy anything or where you might be suggested to buy anything. So you couldn't see other channels that were on there. Um, you couldn't like search for anything. And another weird thing was there was no like user generated content. So zero comments at all. Um, but now Fortnite's joined the battle. So <laughs> they've got some some big pockets deep pockets uh, on their side this time <laughs> i just want to chime in old man tyler here if now i wasn't born or i wasn't really alive when this came out in 1984 but this recreation is pretty amazing and some of the digs in the Fortnite uh commercial that they did where they replaced like the the dude on screen with like an apple that has a bite out of it and stuff like that it's pretty amazing um so the, and when this commercial came out this was this was pretty revolutionary um, you know, for an announcement to do something like it this way. And obviously 1984, you know, a big dystopian thing if you've, you know, read the book or anything like that. Uh, so I kind of, you know, got, I'm not a big Fortnite fan, but was pretty giddy when I saw the commercial for it. <laughs> cool stuff. All right, move on to the next topic, Egan. Yeah. So wizards.exe uh, is hosting ConnectCon, which I just learned about this today. This is so... This is, so I'm, I'm genuinely excited for this. It's really cool. It's an online convention slash seminar um, with industry professionals in the STEM fields. Uh, they've got engineers from Google and Uber and a physicist from Johns Hopkins uh, University on there. So they've got a pretty sick um, lineup of people, of uh, presenters. Um, they've got two sessions a day, one at 10 a.m. Eastern two, and 2 p.m. Eastern. Um, some of the ones they've got on here. Uh, what's it like to work at iRobot? Adventures in biomedical science. Uh, weather forecasting. Will we ever get it right? There's a lot of cool stuff in there. Um, so certainly something to check out. That's going to be on August 24th through the 28th. Yeah, personally, That looks pretty awesome. <laughs> I'm That's... a little bit behind the scenes on that one. Uh, it's going to be all of next week. Um, and it will be streamed live on YouTube. So that's definitely something to check out, uh, especially with all this virtual stuff. Company tours were such a big part of FTC. So we're trying to bring that out to uh, a lot of teams out there. Uh, Rev Robotics just recently announced that they will be providing $25,000 of team sponsorships this season. The application can be found on the Rev Robotics website and will close on the day of kickoff. In addition, they are providing a discount code to all teams to give them a discount on certain parts, mainly electronics and some motors and stuff like that. It has not been announced how many teams will receive a sponsorship and what the sponsorship amount will be per team. Um, last year, they did a similar thing with a, a sponsorship. I think they gave slightly less money and they tried to give it to one team in a region, uh, one team per region. So there was like one team from Maryland, one team from every single region around FTC. I mean, yeah, this this was a. Uh, um, I I was happy to see some more stuff coming out of Rev, uh, you know what they've been, the the product release from last year and all of the um, the, just all just all the new stuff coming out. It, it's really nice to see more, um, you know, more interaction I guess into the FTC community, and I I believe um, I've seen that the. Uh, the 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 grant money is going to over fifty teams, so uh, one more than one per state potentially. Um, you know, like someone said in chat, the new documentation is pretty epic. 
so I'm I'm just really happy that that they're uh, they've got this out to to more teams now. Um, I know I know my team's applying for it, so you know you guys and could too. I saw the the teams that I mentor were talking about on on Slack uh, applying for that. So yeah. And even though it's $25,000 split into 50 plus teams will be around $500. That $500 will go a long way with the discounts that they provide to teams on top of that. So definitely something to look forward to. For sure. All right. Um, in a recent email to first, it was asked when we would be getting more details on the revamped engineering documentation, uh, which replaces the engineering notebook. Um, so, we now know that that will not uh, we will not be getting any more information on that until after kickoff. So um, this is a little disappointing for me because uh, you know a, a start on the notebook, whatever it may be, is is certainly beneficial, you know, creating a format for yourself. Um, and all of the all of the preparation that you can do around a notebook like between seasons. Um, and just going from this big shift from what we've done for I don't know how long uh, to something that could be completely different we don't know it's it's a little um, it's a little scary to see how yeah. much how much of what we what we have like would transfer yeah def definitely the um, I, I'm, I'm really curious about these changes for the notebook uh, because well I I graduated a couple of years ago, so I, I always did the notebook. Obviously, everybody's always done the notebook how it normally is. But what they were saying about the engineering documentation is that it was like 15, 16 pages. And like, you know, you, you for a normal notebook, you've got like a very thick stack of, you know, it, all that information, trying to fit that under, you know, 15 or 16 pages, I think is... It, it very tricky, but in some ways it's a very interesting design challenge, right? Because at that point, you know, you've got to yeah. every single inch of the page is like really important. Um, I don't know. It'll be, it'll definitely be weird. Yeah, and like a thing with the notebook was like everybody would start it over the summer because if you didn't start it over the summer, you were going to get swamped with robot work. Uh, so it'll yeah. be interesting to see how they make it shorter. And how they will still get proof that you did you get you did what you say you do did during the presentation. Um, so I'm definitely right. interested in looking into both those things. Uh, and now that, we're gonna yeah go ahead. Oh, sorry, I was gonna say that combined with you know a lot more of the events being uh, like you're not gonna be able to have judges come to the pit to ask questions. So <laughs> like beyond the presentation, so you're gonna have you know, just this teeny little bit of, you know, communication with the judges is, uh, I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's interesting. All right. That's going to wrap up our headlines. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch, keeping fun loud, live, and independent.